Hey eBay friends, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thank you for coming back for another video. And I'm going to share with you in this video exactly how to make $2,000 a month on eBay or whatever amount you want to make based on what you're already doing. So let's get going. There is a lot of talk on the internet about sell-through rates and how they relate to your eBay business but I'm going to prove to you that you need to think backwards when trying to move your business forwards. It's not just focusing on an arbitrary sell-through rate that somebody on the internet said that you should have and you know who is this person and how do they know anything about your business. Um, just be forewarned that math is involved but um, this is a tutorial video, a training video, a teaching video where I want you to pause this when we get to the math and put your own numbers in and figure it out. You also might want to bookmark this video uh, to come back to it later if you don't know all the numbers yet. But this was meant to be a teaching tool, not something that you're just going to watch one time. So let's focus on profit rather than sell through rates alone because profit is what really matters and the reason I focus on profit is because when I started this business in 2003 I came in into the eBay business because I had lost my job and went through a divorce at the same time and had two little kids at home and was trying to figure out a way to keep the bills paid while I found another job and I started doing eBay and it started working and I just kept doing it and decided to do it on purpose. I had been downsized out of a job. This was the third time in about two years, uh, mostly because I was working part-time and that's who they always got rid of first were the part-timers. So I just didn't, I wasn't going to go through that again. So I was, you know, sink or swim, I was in this business to do it. And I had to know what my profit each month was. So I could pay my bills you know I I had to know that so that's why I have always focused on profit because I was living on this business and um, I needed to know my numbers you cannot pay your bills with a sell-through rate if you're in eBay to an eBay business to generate income for whatever reason uh, paying for college you know, living on the money, paying medical bills, a spouse has lost a job and you know, you're trying to replace that income, you want to be a stay-at-home mom and uh, replace your income, or you're getting ready to retire and you want a business set up that you can move into, you've got to know your profit. You also can't pay your bills with your sales numbers. It doesn't matter how much you're selling a month, what matters is how much you're keeping. So you know don't get sucked into this hype about you know you've got to be a mouse on a wheel and working you know and listing a hundred items a day and you know, all this ridiculous stuff that's out there um, that's not going to do it what you've got to know is your profit profits all that matters because it's the money you keep and the money you're going to use for all those things you do eBay for in the first place you're doing an eBay business because number one you want to love your job and you can do that with an eBay business. Number two, um, it's your business. And the reason you're doing it is so that you can have the life you want and the life you love. And if you have to be glued to your computer for 12 hours a day, that's not a life anybody's going to love. So um, when you focus on profit, it, it's a whole different picture. So think of it this way. You need a recipe to bake a cake or it might turn out like this. Um, if you don't follow recipe or if you don't follow directions like on an IKEA piece of furniture you might get something like this so you need a road map you need instructions on how to get to where you want to go with your eBay business and this is the way I've done it for years this is the way I help my clients do it when people come to me and say I need to make five thousand dollars a month or whatever the number is this is how we figure it out and I use the number 2000 because that is a number I see a lot with my clients um, so hence this video but you do need two critical pieces of information to figure out how to get to your goal of 2000 or whatever your goal is the first number you must know is average profit per item you cannot guess this number you must know based on the facts so 
if you're not keeping a spreadsheet, it's time to start doing that. Um, you can do it on paper, it doesn't matter, but you need to keep records of this. So this is the spreadsheet I use and um, I have one sheet with my inventory. So as soon as I get home from purchasing inventory, I sit down uh, at the computer, I put in the date purchased, the name of the item, and how much it cost. And I know some of you do like storage unit auctions or um, the Goodwill bins and you've got to assign a cost per item. And the reason is because if you can see here, I have sorted this by profit. And what I do more than once a month is I study this sheet. Um, I'm very analytical in that and figuring out how to do things right and do them better. And when you assign a cost per item, then you can start narrowing in on what brands are bringing in the most money, what types of items, what sizes, what fabrics, you know, whatever it is, you can figure that out without having to guess. And I know some of you are going to say, oh, I already know that it's all in my head. But when you have it on paper like this or on a spreadsheet, then you can look and you can see, oh wow, I sold this sleeping bag. I bought it for $2 and it's it sold for $49.97 and my profit was $47. And that was the first time I'd sold a sleeping bag. So you know what? I'm going to look for more of those later because now I've got these numbers in front of me to show me. Um, and so you'll see on this I've got clothing, rugs, uh, sheets, you know, all kinds of stuff that um, it's not just clothing. I sell whatever I can make a profit on. Um, I just don't like shipping breakables very much. But so if you're going to the bins and you're getting a hundred items and it costs you whatever, you know, divide that cost out and assign a cost per item. Figure out a way to do that because you want to be able to look at your profit per item so then you can start figuring out how to make better decisions about your business every month and you keep refining things as you go along. You cannot improve something if you're not measuring it to start with. And this is how you measure what you're doing with your eBay business. Um, so here are some more items that sold that month. And I've sorted all of these by um, profit from largest to smallest. So that particular month, I sold 48 items for an average profit of $25.48. My total profit that month was uh, $1,222.83, divided that out by the number of items sold. So um, this is how I suggest you do it. If you don't have a spreadsheet, I have a link to one below that I use. Uh, it's a one-time purchase if you, you want to do that or make up your own. But the columns I use here are cost, means the cost what I paid for the item, sometimes it's zero because I got the item for free. Um, the sale price is what it sold for on eBay. I don't do free shipping. The fees, um, I have an average percentage in there because I sell in different categories with different percentages on them. And then shipping paid means what the buyer paid me. I do calculated shipping on everything. So it's what the buyer paid me. Shipping cost is what it cost me on the eBay shipping workflow to print that label. You know, what what my cost was after my discount. So on some of these, I do make some money on shipping, but that's okay. I've earned that privilege as an eBay seller and I have no problem with that. So th those are what the columns are that I keep track of. Now, um, at the end of the month, I divide my profit by the number of items sold and that's my average profit. So this is how you do it to figure out what your average profit per item is. Okay, so in this example, my average profit was $25.48. Track it however you want, make an Excel sheet, use Google Sheets, on paper, whatever, but you need to know this number. It's very important. And you can't guess. You've got to know what it is. The second number you must know is your monthly sell-through rate, not somebody else's not what you think it should be or what someone online told you it should be. You look at what it is for your unique business. Um, somebody selling cheap plastic earbuds or cell phone cases from China and they're paying, you know, 99 cents for them and they're selling them for four dollars, their sell-through rate's going to be very different than somebody who sells um, 
you know, collectible glassware, depression glass, or, you know, autographed items, or designer clothing, someone who's getting clothing at uh, the bins for 50 cents a piece, and it's, it's brands like uh, Target brands, or Fashion Bug, those kind of things, is going to be very different than someone who is selling much higher quality, higher cost items, maybe they're getting them at, um, a Macy's closeout or something where they're paying more per item for a brand new item that's a designer item with a tag. You cannot compare your business to someone else's because everyone's different. So there shouldn't, there is not a one size fits all sell through rate. And you shouldn't strive for that. The only thing you should strive for is to improve your own um, business. Whoops. Your own business and improve your sell-through rate and your profit per item because you can control those things. Um, so to find this number, your sell-through rate, you want to go to all orders on your selling manager and look at the last completed month and the number of sales. You can go back several months and do this if you want, but um, make sure it's a completed month and it's something recent because there's a learning curve and the more you do this business the better you're going to get at it so that's why I'm saying to look at the last completed month um, or you know take an average of several months you know three or four months back so this is one of my clients this is not me but um, I'm just putting this up there to show you what's possible and he does an amazing business this guy makes about half a million dollars a year doing eBay and um, he's just incredible but so when I looked at August which was the last completed month because today is September 2nd and um, you just put that in and then you click search and it'll bring up how many items sold during that time frame so for him it was 616 items next you divide that number into the number of listed items you usually have now this number is going to fluctuate but most sellers have an idea of about how many items they have listed most of the time. Now my client I just showed you, he keeps about 1,200 items listed. So his sell-through rate for our purposes here is 51%. We just divide that 616 sold into 1,200 listed and this is the number we get. And I, I chose this on purpose not to make anybody feel bad, but to show you what's possible. Because um, not only is he selling higher end items at a good price, not, you know, not a rock bottom price at all, um, but his sell through rate is very good and he turns things over. So um, I'm just showing you what's possible here. He is also not an at-home seller. This is his 100% business. He has employees. He has a warehouse. So he's not an at-home seller. But if you are, your numbers may look something like this. Maybe you sell 100 items a month and you have 500 listed at all times. Your sell-through rate is going to be 20%. Or maybe you sell 35 items. You have 250 listed at all times. Your sell-through rate would be around 14%. You just need to know what your sell-through is so that we can do this um, equation and figure out how to get you to your goal. So let's look at some scenarios for the average seller and these were some of my clients that I helped um, that came to me saying I need to make two thousand dollars a month how do I get there? So Melissa sells clothing she gets at the bins for about a dollar per piece. Her average profit per item is fourteen dollars. She did not know that. We had to go through and figure that out. Um, so if you're not doing that, you need to start. Her monthly sell-through rate is 20%, and she currently maintains 200 items listed throughout the month. So here is a synopsis of her numbers, 20% sell-through rate, average profit $14. She was selling about 40 items a month when we started, and her total profit was $560. She wants to get to $2,000 a month. So we had to figure out based on the $14 profit per item and 20% sell-through rate, how many things she needed listed at all times to achieve that number. And here's how we figure it out. We're finding that uh, her desired profit number of 2,000 divided by profit per item tells us she needs 142 items to sell 
at an average of $14 profit per item to see her goal of 2000 So then we have to figure out the number of listed items that will support that 20% sell-through rate. And to do that, we, we're looking at 20% of some number is 142. So we have to figure out what X is here. And we do the math and we figured out that she needed 710 items in her inventory selling 20% a month with an average of $14 profit to meet her goal. Now this is just what we started with. We also worked on refining profit per item and sell through rate. But if you're just looking at it without having to change anything about your business, you're looking at your current sell through rate and your average profit per item, then you can figure out how much more you need an inventory to make that happen. So let's do another one. Gary sells used sporting goods he gets at thrift stores and garage sales. His average profit per item when we started was $22. His monthly sell-through rate was 35%. And he currently kept 125 items listed throughout the month. So here are his numbers, sell-through rate of 35%, average profit of $22. He was selling about 44 items a month for a total profit of $968 before we uh, started working together. He wants to get to $2,000 a month profit. So based on his unique business, what he already knows how to do, of 22 profit per item, sorry, $22 profit per item and 35% sell-through rate, we had to figure out how many things he needed listed to achieve this. So we figured out that he needs to sell 91 items at an average of $22 profit per item to get to $2,000. Then we have to figure out how many listed items support that number. We're looking at 35% of something equals 91. So we've got to figure out what something is. What is that number? So we did the math. He needs 260 items in his inventory selling 35% a month with an average of $22 profit to meet his goal of $2,000 a month. Um, and keep in mind that we're refining the, the uh, average profit per item as we go along too, but this is just where you start. So the alternative to increasing your number of items is to increase your profit per item to find more expensive things to sell. And I just keep in mind, you're doing the same amount of work on a $10 item that you do on a $100 item most of the time. Um, that's why I encourage diversifying and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Um, if you just do clothes and you don't look at anything else, you're walking by stuff that would sell for more, maybe, and increase that average profit per item. So you've got to get out of the same old, same old, you do the same things all the time, you're going to get the same results. So sometimes it just takes learning about other things to sell. Um, but this is how I help people get to their eBay goal, is to figure out the math based on what you were already doing, what you've already mastered, and what it will take to reach your monetary goal along the way. So I'm just curious if you've approached your the growth of your eBay business like this? Does this make sense to you to work backwards, to look at what you're already doing, what you've already mastered, figure out how much inventory will support where you want to go, and then along the way you're also learning how to find higher profit items and increase your sell-through rate. So I would love your feedback on this approach. Um, so comment below. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And um, please subscribe so that you can get great videos like this about how to do eBay the right way. Q&A, basically, where you can come and ask anything about your business. You also get extra bonuses with that, um, including email support for 60 days, some free courses, and a store evaluation. So uh, check out that link below. Thank you for sitting through this video, and I really hope this helps you figure out how to get to where you want to get with making money on eBay because it's, it's achievable, and I've, I help people do this all the time. So thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day on eBay. Bye.